let's just quickly read the question together. Uh, Marisol earns that amount of money per hour. Again, you can see the per, which gives you the clue of where the rate is. Um, as a publicist, how much will she earn if she works that long in one week? Okay, so I've written it down. Um, you've identified your units, which are, what are the units again? Yep. Dollars and hours. Perfect, okay, so there they are included. And then I've written them down in the equation, but the last thing I decided is, well, what operation is gonna combine these together? Some suggestions? Yeah, we're Multiplication. Okay, so if I put multiplication in here, right? Um, that's a good suggestion. You can think, I want to have groups of these, 38 groups of them, that's multiplication. There's another clue, the units, which helps us to work out why multiplication works. What's the final unit that we want in the answer? Have a look carefully. Let's see if I can get someone else. Look at the question. And what final unit should be included? Yeah, Nikhil. Dollars. It should be dollars, because it says how much does she earn? So I want this unit to hang around, and I want this unit to go away. Okay, so therefore, I don't know if you've written it um, like this, which shows the extra working. This is an hour on the bottom of the fraction, and this is the same unit on the top of the fraction, right? So if I use multiplication, then I can cancel, cancel, and can someone tell me what the value is? Has someone already calculated it? Yeah, well. 893, exactly? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, there you go. So the units confirm, right? Now, the last one is a bit tricky. I'm going all the way to question 12. Let's do it together if you're not up to it already. Read with me. It says a bus is traveling at an average speed of 76 kilometers per hour. So right away you can tell me the units are... What are the units? What are the units? Someone hasn't said anything yet. Someone who hasn't said it. Yeah, Darren. Kilometers? And hours. Hours, cool. This, this is not hard, right? But it's the most important first step. I've got my units. How long will the bus take to travel 380 kilometers? Okay, now 380 kilometers is how far we have to go. Uh, 76, right? 76 kilometers per hour is how fast we travel. What Operation should I include between these? Division. Okay, I'm gonna do division. Okay, now division does make sense because it's like, look, this is some number of groups of 76 kilometers per hour. It's like every hour I'm gonna do one of these. So there's a whole bunch of groups of 76 in there that I wanna find, okay? The other way that I can know is, watch this, right? You know this extra line here as we write as a fraction? Just do it with me if you haven't already. How can I write this guy to make it a little more obvious that it's a fraction? This doesn't look like a fraction, but how can I rewrite it? Yeah, Rinesh. 76 over 1. Okay, um, I've got the 76 over 1, but don't forget, I want to, what was the third tip again? Uh, yeah, I want to include the units, right? Those are like super important. Okay. Um, now have a look at this, right? When you divide by a fraction, think back all the way to the start of the year. What do you do when you divide by a fraction? You... Match the same unit, uh, same like fraction. Like cross. Oh, hold on, pause, pause. Think about something like this: three divided by a quarter. What would you do with this? What would you do? Yeah. Okay, you you can write it as three over one. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. But then what do I do with this guy over here, Rinesh? If I change it to four over one. Then this changes the multiplication, right? Because these are opposites, right? And I can do just the same thing here. Watch, right? I'm going to have 380 kilometers. I'm going to change this to multiplication. So as a consequence, I write this as... One hour. One hour. Over... Good. And look what's happened to the units. Look, look, look. Can you see? Cancel. Cancel. What unit is left behind? Hours. Is that what I was after? I was after a time, wasn't I? It said how long, that's a time question, right? So I've got the right unit. All I have to do is 380 divided by 76, which is? Five. Nailed it, okay? So, identify the units, uh, choose carefully which operation you're gonna use, and then make sure you include all of that in the working. You saw how much I referred to that, okay?